Hello, good day, good morning, whatever today is for you, whatever time of day. I have a new obsession. Um, today's video is going to be a little different. I'm taking a page out of BB from Pure Red Velvet's book. And I'm going to do, I'm going to tag along as they do the Venus transits throughout the year. I am late to this party. I believe I've already missed two. I believe the Sagittarius transit started December 29th. And then at some point, the Capricorn one started and, and it ended, I believe. I'm the wrong person to ask about this. Um, I sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. But in my journey this year, I wanted to learn more about astrology. So I figured I would tag along with these guys and hopefully that would help me in my astrology journey. So I did go shopping in my basement and also to Michaels and Chapters. Um, so what I bought today, I, need, I wanted a notebook. I am, I'm not a hardcover notebook person. I'm also not a lined pages notebook person. This was $20. Disgusting. I was going to go for the Moleskine ones. Sorry if that's loud. Which are the same size. Same, like everything. Soft cover, whatever. But the Moleskine, um, the pages felt thinner than this. And I do think that its stuff is going to bleed on this paper as it is. So the Moleskine, uh, it was a no-go. So I went with this one. Obviously, that's got to go. <laughs> which is why I bought this paper at Michael's. So it's double-sided, which made me buy two. This is very thin, very thin paper. One side, other side. So we're going to kind of do like a rip <laughs> to cover that up. The other thing I bought was some romantic-ish washi tape. I have a ton of washi tape, so I didn't really need a lot. I needed a new one of these guys. This is removable adhesive tape stuff. These romance stickers, which were also expensive. These were like six something. Gross. I got the 40% off coupon on that guy though. Um, and is that it for everything I bought? I think so. Then I went shopping in my basement and I found all kinds of stuff. So I've just kind of put some stamps together that I think will suit our girl Venus. Uh, I found this, so it'll probably go on the cover of the notebook. It's got these little sticky tabs. And then we're gonna use these to spell out Venus on this cover. We've got stamp pads, the washi tapes that I had. I have way too many, but the ones I selected were these guys. Look how old these are, like it's yellowing. But hey, they'll get some use today. I have some really old stickers. They're so old, they don't even stick. So because of that, I busted out these, again, found in the basement. Um, so we'll use those. I've got some Tombos. I've got some doilies. I have stickers. And then uh, we've got a punch, a seashell punch. I keep, I have to keep in mind that we're talking Venus the planet, not Venus the Roman slash Aphrodite Greek god. So I do have to keep that in mind. Uh, I found some other stuff in my basement, but we'll save that for later. I don't know how much I'm actually gonna film. We'll probably speed some up. I don't know how to add music, so that'll be fun. Then I bought this ephemera kit off of Etsy. I just got the download. So it came in a way where you could print it double-sided so that this side would be like a watercolor. There was pinks, there was blues, there was greens, but um, I just printed this in my basement, so I was like, I do not want to use that much ink. So I printed it on cardstock paper so that it'll be sturdy. Um, and I have, oh yeah, I printed this. I wanted this to go on the front of the journal, but it printed way too big and I couldn't figure out how to change the size of it, but the quality was impressive. Back to the ephemera kit. <laughs> So lots of these, I'm not gonna use all of these today. These will go in some of the pages. Two more. 
So yeah, I bought this just this morning and downloaded it, downloaded it just now. So I thought we would start by paying some homage to Venus. I wanted to get an oracle card out to remind me, <laughs> we're talking about the planet. I wanted to get a Venus planet sticker, um, but the ones they had were two little kitty in, in Michaels. So we're just going to set the tone, set the mood. My hands are farting. I don't know if you heard that. And if you didn't, I just outed my hands for farting. All right, and I just smashed the tripod. Here we go, Venus. Give and receive love, find value and see beauty. So we're just gonna set this in here and it'll probably be out of frame where you guys can't see it, but I can. So I'm terrified. I have to admit, I'm absolutely terrified to correctly cover this up. Now, thank God it's not a rounded corner. I do have a rounded corner punch, but it's like the fat one. So if this was a rounded corner, not sure. Not sure what I would have done. So, um, oh yeah, and it's dot lined. Perfect. No little folders like the Moleskine though. Unfortunate. So I'm just gonna start. I'll probably do um, the, we'll probably speed her up. And if I can figure out how to put in music, um, we'll put in some music. And if I can't, well, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Do we like this one? Or do we like this one? This one's softer. I think I like the softer one. it to come down a little more but it didn't want to go that way yeah it's just it's a little too too much for the size of the book it's a little too big she can go on the inside cover though or back well the back I don't want to put her on the back cover because this book might be used for other transits which really sucks because I am about to put Venus on the front so <laughs> there goes that I do love that one. I don't love the square. I don't love the sharpness of it. So these are very old, but they have come in very handy. I think that's probably as big as we're going to be able to go. I would like it to be bigger. Nope. Nay. So then, there's two blades. These are in Ziploc bags that I can't believe aren't disintegrating. So the blades, oh God, are different distances so you can get a wider cut which is which this one is obviously wider we're gonna use this one because we want oh 
we're losing sun a little bit. Um, okay, so I want to make sure that when I put it in the track, yeah, it's going to... I am doing some crazy, you know what? We can just put stickers on either side of it to hide that. Ever so slightly on that one side. Why am I scared? And I have a digital copy, I can always reprint it if I screw it up. All right, I don't want to stab myself. Let us see. Scraps. I used to be very into scrapbooking um, in my early 20s. And it's, it's funny because I have all these scrapbooks of my long-term relationship at the time. Should I have gone with the other one? Let's just see. Guys. Why am I liking this one better? Problem. Solution. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to be into scrapbooking a lot when I was in my early 20s, like I said, and I was in a long-term relationship. We were together for, in total, six years. But all of my scrapbooks are about him, with him, including him. All of the money I spent on all the scrapbooking accessories... Uh, went into those scrapbooks with him. So part of me like wants to throw them out because like, why would I keep them? And then another part of me is like, well, that was a big part of your life. What do I do? No, it needs a border. So here's where, no, that's not going to work. So if we went back to the green, it was this one, right? And if we used the red one to go around and trim that edge, then we could use the green one to create the exact same size border, right? Pretty sure that's how they're supposed to work. We be trying. <laughs> These are great. I don't know if they still sell them, but they've got little like rubber feet. So they stick. So good. Scrap. Now. No idea if this is gonna work the way I want it to. Theoretically, it should, right? <laughs> so good. I am so clever. The people who invented these had nothing to do with that cleverness. It's just me. All right. Oh, so much better. Now let's try it with our OG plan. Guys, this is why I don't scrapbook anymore. 
I think I kind of like it with that one. There's just more of a contrast with the white border, even though this is softer. I asked my mommy, if she said this. So, All right, let's stick this down. Helps when you use it the wrong way. Guys, here we go. I love that I've accomplished one whole thing. One. So my concern here, I want this to wrap around, but I don't know how it's gonna crease. <laughs> You're all probably getting a lovely view of my gray hairs. This is 41. I don't know why this thing doesn't I just want you to love me. It's not gone right to the edge and that worries me. Like real scrapbook boogers are probably watching me do this. I'm just cringing. I'm fine. You're fine. Scrapbooking is fun. We are having fun. Okay. What? Excuse my head for a second. How am I supposed to do this? Close enough. I'll take it. You know what? It doesn't have to be perfect. doesn't just doesn't I think that's my problem with scrapbooking and why I don't like doing it because you know we're our own harshest critics it's fine the only person using this is gonna be me so what happens when we open Oh, it's okay. Ooh. I was just going to cut that off, but maybe I should just fold it onto the inside cover. Can we? How easy. So we do have a little part we'd have to snip off. I kind of like that. I feel like it adds a little more sturdiness to this part. I like it. We're making progress. We are making some progress. So now I do need to cut a piece out. I'm afraid to like stick this down in case I want to like stick stuff behind it. These are kind of gaudy for this, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I actually really like it. Okay, let's one task of time, Sarah.
we're good. We're golden. So I don't want that to be white, or do I? I kind of wanted it to have. Hmm. Is this red or burgundy? Oh, that's very red. Oh, there's burgundy though. Ooh. I'm not sure like where it ends, but. Hmm. I don't know if that's the right color. I don't know if that's what we want. Maybe the, maybe this one would be better. Oh, this one is kind of almost dead, but maybe that'll work to our benefit. Maybe we should just keep it white. This one is very purpley as well. Maybe it'll change it if, um, or we can try a pink. We can try the pink. And I think I'm gonna have to do black letters instead of silver because I don't think the, whoa, that looks like warp speed ahead. I don't think that the silver are gonna stand out enough. Nope. Okay. Okay, so something just happened by accident when I went to get my alphabet stickers. She ended up off center and I've got this lovely peony stamp. And I just kind of like set it here and then I was like, oh. Oh, I like that. I am an odd duck in that I don't like things to be even and I don't necessarily like things to be centered. So if I, I do like the idea of gold embossing this, or I don't know if it's called embossing, but then this is silver. So I don't know that that would match. I kind of want to do it gold. I think I'm going to, because that looks kind of good. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then it would match the stickers. Um, I'm scared. So you'll get to see the how I am boss. I also wanted to put something down here to cover up this. I thought about just ripping another corner off of that, but I don't know if I like that. Okay, first things first. We definitely want to do this. We want this to say Venus, and I think I'm going to need tweezers for this part. The sun is really coming and going. So I'm gonna do black, because I feel like that's safer. Is this black or is it gray? Oh no, there's different fonts. <laughs> oh no. I think the black will pop. I don't know if we have enough room to do an all caps. Like I kind of liked, I don't know, that's too little kiddish, I think. Whoa. But that one's really small. So where was the other one? This one? Do we have room? Oh yeah. So Venus is five letters. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, it's cutting it close. We can put the words, oh no. Crap. Crappity crap. We have to do these ones. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. I wanted it to be like crisp and these have like a weird outline to them. But the sizing fits 
where we want it to. I'm half-assed considering trying to write it. I don't have any kind of writing training. I'm gonna try it off camera. So I kind of like it. Ooh, I feel like it gives a more crafty look. I don't like my V though. Oh, that looks like an astrological sign. I think my pen is too fat. Let's try the other end. More. I'm going with that one. She's the one. Ooh, I like that. I think. I think I like it. I'm kind of getting to the point where it's like, I'm over it. <laughs> if it doesn't look right, I don't care. Yeah, Sarah, put it on upside down. Like I, I almost don't even care if it's centered either. Okay. This has, I don't know, this is really old. I don't even know if this would still be sticky. No, not at all. Crap, how am I gonna stick this? I don't think I have any kind of glue that would work. Should I try cutting? Oops. Should I try cutting one of these up? Options are limited at the moment, so we're gonna go with yes. You should. I don't know, oops, I don't know how um, sticky these are. Like, I don't know, are these permanent? Oh, oh my God. Or are they adhesive tabs? does say repositionable. I do not have faith. <laughs> I don't have faith in this decision. So the end would be the middle of the word, which would be that part of the design. Ooh. This is really not going to stick. I already know. So I might have to go in with some super glue later when I get some super glue or like any kind of glue, but we'll do it later because um, that's pretty. Uh, I want to be able to still play around with it. And if I do another type of glue, If I do another type of glue, I can't do anything with it for the rest of the day until that glue dries. Now, I'm not putting this right to the edges in case I want to slide things underneath, like pretty things. I did like how this looked. Here. I do like that. Do I have one that's uh mm. hold on, we like that one better. I think I do. I think I like the darkness of it. Okay. Okay, let's do this part. Um, I don't know what else I wanna do. Maybe I should have put that down here because I don't have anything for down here. Like anything that would work shape-wise. I don't like the peach in that one. It's 
very peachy. Unless I just do like multiple of these and like bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, I might have to do that. Do we like the idea of the shell being in one of these? And then it could go like here. Don't know. Let's, I really want to get this part done because I'm not looking forward to it. It's so messy. Okay, I just actually had an idea with a doily because I forgot I had doilies. Ooh. So then that kind of changes how this, where this is going to go. I, I kind of liked it along the edge here, which I could still try and do, but the embossing powder will get stuck. I mean, we could do it down, just down here. Because I think that's super elegant and pretty. I like that. I think I'm going to do that. How do I stick that? Do we like two of them? I don't know. That's a decision we can make later. But I got my glue. And I'm going to do exactly what I said I didn't want to do a couple minutes ago. And use wet glue. Now this isn't, might be a problem because we're about to emboss something. So I don't want the embossing powder to get caught on the wet glue. So we may have to table this and resume tomorrow. But I do like how it's coming along. I also forgot about all of my washies. I've not used a single washi tape. I don't tend to like washies on the cover personally, but I could do something up here too. Guys, I don't know. I'm really kind of... I feel like it makes your eyes though bounce between them. If it's just one, I think it might be a little more impactful. Yeah, see you can, I don't know if the camera is picking up, but that gooped over the edge and it's probably gonna leave like shiny marks. Okay, so we're gonna leave that for a little bit. I don't know if I'll have enough natural light to finish tonight with the embossing. Then also I still have that guy. I wonder if we just color over it. I mean, you still see it. What if we did that? Can't decide. To be continued. Okay, it's the next morning. Things probably look really different compared to the last screen grab, or the last frame that you would have seen. Uh, why do I have a giant piece of orange calcite on my planner? Well, that's because, as you can see, last night I did do some things. So what happened was, I started trying to get the inside started. Um, cause I thought it would be really cool to be able to show you progress on the inside and what I had planned, um, for the inside. And then as I was working, everything fell off, everything fell off the cover. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Like I, I temporarily placed everything anyway, not a big deal. So I'm working away and then I started to think about it and I thought, first of all, this is my work desk. This has to be cleared off by 7.45 tomorrow morning. Also, I have another video that I want to film in this space this afternoon. So all of this needs to be cleaned up and it probably doesn't look that bad to you. Um, but to me, 
you, in the frames that you can't see, it looks like I turned my one of my craft bins upside down in this room. It's spilling over to the floor because I've run out of desk space. It's spilling over to the bed behind me. So I need to get this done. What does that have to do with why I betrayed you? Um, this needed to be wet glued. And if this needed to be wet glued, I can't use the book until that wet glue dries. So the book is out of commission for a couple of hours at least. So if I was going to wet glue that today, um, I, it would be out of commission for a couple of hours. I would have to sit here. This desk would be unused for a couple of hours because I'm not gonna put away all my craft stuff just to bring it back out. And that would be lost time. So I did it last night and uh, I did save this part for today. So once we get the natural, the sun is supposed to come out, although I don't believe because right now it is very gray, but it's still very early. It's only quarter after eight. Um, so yeah, let's talk about what I did. I found some washi tapes. I did kind of toy around with putting this somewhere. I opted not to, but I found some washi tapes that I forgot about. There's these ones. And the only one that really matched was this guy. It's got some purple in it, which I mean, there isn't really a lot of purple. Anyway, so I was like, I'm putting down some washi tape. I don't care. Like I said, I was kind of getting to that point where I was like, I'm done. I also found some of this paper that I really liked because I do feel like it's quite romantic, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. And I thought about it for too long and I was like, well, spent too much time on that. So there we go. And then I had, I also found stickers, but the shell stickers don't really fit the aesthetic. So I didn't use those. And then the wording that I wanted to use, there was a bunch that I liked. I wanted it to say something about love and beauty just because Venus. So be your beautiful self. Uh, there's another one, collect beautiful moments, but that's not, again, not what this planner is about. Uh, so I went with embrace beautiful chaos because I'm embracing my astrology journey, beautiful, Venus, chaos, is my astrology journey. <laughs> so there we go. Then I found some, this is quite a bit stickier than this. I'm really regretting not buying permanent. I may have to go back to get some, but this was super sticky. So I had to use it to stick some stuff down because this, very temporary. And then I have these from Etsy. These are cute stickers but they're all like moon and owl related so I tried to find one that was as close to Venus as I could get. Venus is a little orangey so I went with that one. It, it's going to need to be stuck down better as well but yeah that one kind of has the most orange I think. I just spit somewhere. Hmm. Uh, it has the most orange. It looks the most like Venus I think so yeah then Today I'm going to do some work here. I did start to do, this is what I started to do last night, um, and everything just fell apart. So this, I'm not really going to, we already missed this one. It ended January 23rd. The next one ends soon, very soon, I think. Um, so I'm not really, like, I'm, I'm going to do some work, which you'll see. I'm not going to film it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the other point I wanted to make. I won't be filming crafting today. Let me tell you, editing that video was a nightmare. And if I'm going to film and edit, that's going to cut more into my day. So what this afternoon is going to be, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to do what I want to do with this. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you what I did. And I think we're also going to talk about Venus in transits because I didn't talk about it at all yesterday. Um, and maybe you don't know what it is or you're wondering why I'm doing this. Um, so I'll talk about that this afternoon and I want to show you an oracle deck that I'm using with this as well with my astrology journey in general but I came across a really cool way to work with it for this. Uh, I also found this is something I'm going to show you as well. These are from the Happy Planner so they're just like cards. They're on cardstock paper but they, they're ones that I thought fit the aesthetic. I went through a pile and picked those. And then what you do is you put them in your book 
and then you put washi tape down this side and then washi tape down this side and it's like a little I call them tip outs that I know that's like a trailer term but it's like a little tip out and I think I'm going to put the tarot spreads on the back side of these I don't want to do it for every single transit though because it'll make the book way too fat and we've already missed basically the first two so I'm not going to do it for the first two and the other thing I did last night was I sat and cut out all those the the Venus ephemera pieces ugh, nails that I got off Etsy last night while watching BB pure red velvets videos I cut all of these out yeah so BB if you're listening if your YouTube stats went up on February 10th uh that was me because I sat there last night watching and re-watching all of your videos pertaining to this and your journaling um so that I could be better versed in what the heck I'm doing uh I don't know why but I have an obsession with putting these in size order so these are going to be the same thing and I actually I was a little concerned that these ones would be too big but they're not at all they'll work this one, uh, I could cut pieces of it off. Yeah. So that's what I did last night. And then I'm going to get started. We're still going to do this together. I promise. I'll show you that because it's super fun. Um, and then we'll talk about Venus and transits. Okay. Now we're going to do our embossing stamp as you can see I've added I added a zodiacal chart a natal chart sticker um and I think that's it and I, I I have to glue that back down oh yeah I added some stars there's a couple here and then I did put some light purple ones under here before I found this sticker and realized I wanted to do it so what you got to do is have a special ink pad this is very old like this is from my early 20s how it still works I don't know I actually probably just jinxed myself it probably won't work but you do need this special ink pad and then you need the little powder this is like a kit of all different colors in this guy so the gold is at the bottom and then you need a heat gun so that heat gun is new now it won't stand up I have one somewhere. All right, it's gonna lay on its side. I have one somewhere, but I can't find it. So I had to buy another one a couple years ago. So this also has previous ink on it that I don't know if it'll come off on here. No, I think we're okay. This might not turn out. It might be too fine for the powder. Didn't even think of that. Yeah, like some of the detail, the line work on the petals, it might not work. Oh, look it. It actually looks pretty. dumped it all right we're going with dumping it that's why you have this piece of paper that you folded <laughs> keep that in mind oh and I just put that face down over there all right probably shouldn't breathe like that moment of truth I mean, I'm not sure you can tell what it is. It's just going to be a blob, but I almost don't care. Set this aside. All right, and now we take our heat gun. It's gonna be loud. So 
So it did do what I was afraid and it kind of curled the paper. So I actually don't mind it, even though we can't tell what it is. Oh my gosh, and some of the little specks are on the washi. That looks kind of cool. Um, but I'm okay with it. I don't mind it. Now I kind of need to figure out if I want to put stuff here. The other thing I wanted to do Oh, it curled that. It melted the sticker. <laughs> we'll glue it down. Uh, I wanted to put one of these somewhere. Oh my god. It's a little top heavy, so it won't. The only pro <laughs> come on. The only problem with using this or putting that somewhere is it's going to be a bump if I'm trying to write. So I wanted to put it somewhere like I almost kind of wanted to have it like down here. I don't know. That's not something we have to decide right now, though. I do think maybe I'll put some star stickers along here. I think it needs something. Anyway, so that's how you emboss something and melt plastic stickers. Like I said, we'll just glue that down. So let's take a look at what I've done inside so I like BB said she wanted to put in transit or whatever on the cover but didn't end up doing it I also didn't end up doing it so I made this I put an s on the end of transit and then I was like oh should I not have done that but it's multiple transits it's going through transits so okay I'm okay with it so we did this lovely page and then I did like a main Venus page. This isn't done. I want to be able to add to it and I want to decorate it a little bit. But this will be the page I refer to when trying to remember the energy of Venus. So the first one was Venus and Sagittarius in house 10 for me. I put the date and I got a little Sagittarius sticker. And then I put keywords for Sagittarius because I am not well versed in astrology. And then I put keywords for house 10. And then I tried to put all of these together and I really, really struggled. The, putting these together was fine, but incorporating the energy of Venus confused me a lot. So like sharing knowledge or a passion for something with others, I guess passion can kind of go with Venus, I don't know, but that's those two, like Okay. But this was actually funny. So this would be in retrospect because this one's over. It ended January 23rd. So it also talked about like meeting up with, I, I listened to a YouTube channel to help me out. It talked about um, meeting up with like-minded people. I don't know. It was, that was cool because that is kind of something that happened to me in January about three weeks ago. Then I left this page blank because I don't like writing on that side of a page. And I don't know, I think I might just decorate it. Uh, there would also be a tarot spread. So this is kind of what I liked about basically missing the first two transits because you can kind of play and decide what's going to work for you and what's not. Uh, so the tarot spread is going to have to go somewhere. So I can either put it on one of those tip out cards here or I could do it on the back. Now I don't like doing it on the back because this is here and I feel like that would get confusing like this tarot spread is for the previous page so I don't know if I would want to do that. So then we did Venus and Capricorn in house 11 for me, the date, Capricorn sticker, Capricorn keywords, house 11 keywords and then my evaluation. So making friends at work that might lead to bringing in more resources which I did meet up with someone and hopefully that is something that will happen but time will tell and then again this is blank and then next we have venus and aquarius which is obviously not complete i just started that one to get it going but yeah that's what we have so far now i've got to glue that and put my calcite back on it to pin it down now we talked about so where's my notebook? BB, I watched her channel so many times last night. I watched the same few sentences repeatedly. 
because I was really like, I'm like, I need to figure out how to do this. I need to know how to do this. So I took some notes from her video. So she said, the sign Venus falls in reflects its character. The planet is the energy. The sign is the personality. The house is where all of that plays out. But again, putting the planet and the sign together is where I struggled. Then she said to put a magnifying glass on Venus plus the sign, review those to see the energy that will be intensified during that transit, then check the house to see where that ener energy will be activated the most. So that's something I'm definitely going to have to try and figure out. <laughs> and like I said, I did have to, I went to some YouTube videos to see what they said. So I just YouTubed Venus, Transit, Sagittarius, all signs. And I found that it was my rising sign that had it in the correct house, which I thought was kind of weird. I don't understand how that works. So I had to watch Pisces instead of Aquarius. Um, so maybe, I don't know, maybe someone can explain that to me. But then I wanted to show you the Oracle deck that I think will be super helpful. Okay, so basics first, before we start talking about the Oracle I'm using. Um, I have a planner that tells me when all the transits are happening. So I've gone through and I've highlighted when the Venus transits are happening. I also have the sun transits highlighted, but um, so that's how you know where it is and when it's happening. Then you go to your birth chart. So right now it's in Capricorn. Venus is in Capricorn until the 16th. So you find Capricorn on your natal chart and whatever house it sits in, that's the house you want to look for when you are doing this. Figuring this out, working with this. Um, I, I have no, I have so much stuff all around me. I have nowhere to put this. Okay, now the Oracle deck that is helping me. It's the one I used yesterday, my Significator card for Venus, the Heavenly Bodies Astrology Oracle. I'm going to do a working with this deck video. Uh, I want to completely read the guidebook first before I post a video, so... I don't know. I don't know how long. It's it, the, the book is a super easy read, but I'm super lazy. And I'm also reading like five books. So I don't know when I'm going to get to do that. But this deck is phenomenal for working with your birth chart. The, the methods that she has, if you're wanting to work with your birth chart and you're like a newbie, uh, I would definitely recommend checking this deck out because oh, I was mind blown. So we have the planet. It's always going to be Venus because we're only talking about the Venus transit. So that's the planet we're using. And right now it's in Capricorn. So that is the sign we're talking about. So like with what BB said, oh, my notebook is under other things. This is a disaster. So the planet is the energy. The sign is the personality. The house is where all of that plays out. So Capricorn is in my house 11, 11th house. So what else did BB say? So put a magnifying glass on Venus and the sign. Review those to see the energy that will be intensified during that transit. Pause. We're going to talk about, okay, so Venus, as we know, is about giving and receiving love. Then find value and see beauty. And then Capricorn, ambition, realism, methodical steps. So the one that makes the most sense to me is finding value or giving, receiving love and realism. But yeah, finding value in realism and methodical steps. Seeing beauty in realism, perhaps. Uh, then check the house to see where that energy will be activated the most. So friends, like-minded groups, and humanitarian beliefs. So finding value with ambition or methodical steps in the realm of friends, like-minded groups, humanitarian beliefs. So what's jumping out here? 
obviously you could pick this apart for so long, but friends. So finding value in methodical steps in the realm of friendships. So maybe there's a conflict with friends and, uh, or there's going to be a conflict with friends in the next 23-ish days, or not, a, not even necessarily a conflict. I don't know that it's necessarily a conflict, but something going on in your friend world where it will be valuable to you to use methodical steps in the approach of how to handle it. Perhaps. So she explains all of this in this book. The one thing that I struggle with is putting the sentences together. So you've got the cards, which is great, but then you have to put the cards together. So the example that she uses, now this is a bit different because what we're doing is a bit different, but planet, sign, house. So analysis with Jupiter and Aries in house seven, you grow and expand through independence, bravery, and passion, especially in the realm of profound relationships. So the words that she used are you, and then grow and expand would be wording from Jupiter. Through is the word that she used, independence, bravery, and passion for the card uh, keywords on Aries, especially in the realm of for the keywords on the house. I mean, it's, that, that example still works, but um, that's more talking about like your chart. This is just talking about the transit in the current calendar. Calendar? Sky. Uh, but yeah, so this deck is going to be really helpful for me, and I plan on using it a lot throughout this project, series, fun thing that we're doing. Um and like I said, I'm going to be doing a video on this deck because there's, it is so incredibly useful when it comes to your natal chart. Like if you're wanting to learn your birth chart, but you have no idea what any of it means, like myself, um, definitely look into this deck. I'm not saying go buy it, but look into it. It's not a deck I would have purchased for myself. I cannot, I actually don't like the cards. <laughs> I don't like the colors necessarily. I don't like the aesthetics, which is similar to the colors, but I don't know. It's just, it's not my art style either. Um, and then there's, I think she, Pisces isn't one of those examples, but I know, I think Cancer is one. So Cancer is the crab. We all know that Cancer is the crab. And it's not, there's no crab. It's a seashell. So for someone learning astrology, I kind of wish it would have stayed a little more true. But whatever. She breaks it down in the book and it's so good. Anyway, that is that. That's my scrapbook attempt, which I can't show you because it's under my rock at the moment because I glued down the melted sticker. And yeah, follow along. Enjoy. Have fun. Hopefully we figure it out together. Together.